Welcome to the Trends Hub, your source for breaking news and trending stories from around the world. Out in the quiet of space, Earth becomes a single, fragile home. In 1977, we launched Voyager 1 and 2, not just to explore but to send a piece of ourselves into the cosmos. These spacecraft were our first true messengers to the stars, destined to drift through interstellar space. Each Voyager carries a golden record, a time capsule of sounds and images from Earth, greetings in 55 languages, the music of Bach and Chuck Berry, the sounds of wind and whales, all chosen to represent our world. Led by Carl Sagan, the team behind the record wanted to show who we are and where we come from. The record includes images of DNA, a family eating, and even a cosmic map pointing to our home. It's a bold gesture. This is us. We hope to meet you someday. Imagine that golden record, gliding through darkness for billions of years, a symbol of human curiosity and hope. The Voyager probes were built to last, but their message is meant to outlast even them. They are a whisper from a small blue planet sent into the cosmic silence. As we explore the universe we're also trying to understand ourselves. The Golden Record is a story of science, art, and philosophy, all in one. Voyager's journey is a testament to our drive to connect and explore. It's a reminder that our greatest legacy might be the story we send to the stars. Even in the vastness of space we reach out hoping someone or something will listen. The message is simple, we were here and we wanted to be known. Voyager's golden record is humanity's message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic sea. It's a symbol of our optimism and our longing to belong in the universe. Launching Voyager was a feat of power, precision and timing. In 1977, Voyager 2 launched first, then Voyager 1, both aiming to seize a rare planetary alignment. This alignment, occurring only once every 176 years, allowed a grand tour of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. NASA engineers used gravity assists, cosmic slingshots, to propel the probes from one planet to the next. Without this, reaching Neptune would have taken decades longer. The mission was a masterclass in orbital mechanics, a single shot to get it right. Voyager's instruments were our eyes and ears, cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and more. Built with 1970s technology, they had less computing power than a modern phone, yet were designed to survive decades in space. Powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, they kept sending data long after their main mission. The Grand Tour was a journey into the unknown, promising to rewrite our understanding of the solar system. Voyager's story is as much about human ingenuity as cosmic discovery. It was a leap into the dark, driven by curiosity and daring. The mission's success hinged on a single fleeting opportunity, and we made it count. Voyager 2's first stop, Jupiter, the king of planets. In 1979, it revealed Jupiter's great red spot as a swirling dynamic storm, more alive than we'd ever imagined. We saw active volcanoes on Io, the first ever found beyond Earth, and Europa's icy surface, hinting at a hidden ocean. These discoveries changed our ideas about where life might exist. Next, Voyager 2 slingshotted to Saturn, arriving in 1981. Its images of Saturn's rings showed thousands of ringlets and mysterious spokes, an intricate, ever-changing system. Voyager also studied moons like Titan, with its thick orange atmosphere and Enceladus, now known to have water geysers. Each discovery was a revelation, transforming distant worlds into real, dynamic places. The Voyager missions turned blurry dots into vibrant, living worlds. It was a golden age of exploration, and we were seeing our solar system anew. Voyager's postcards from the giants redefined what we thought possible. After Saturn, Voyager 2 entered uncharted territory, Uranus, a world never before visited. In 1986 it revealed Uranus's tilted, rolling orbit and discovered new moons and rings. The planet's magnetic field was bizarre, tilted and off-center, hinting at a strange, icy interior. Uranus was a cosmic puzzle, unlike anything we'd seen. Then, in 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, the last giant. Neptune was vibrant and stormy, with the great dark spot and the fastest winds in the solar system. Voyager discovered new moons and faint rings, but Triton stole the show, a frozen world with active nitrogen geysers. These findings showed that even distant icy worlds could be geologically alive. With its planetary tour complete, Voyager 2 had redrawn the map of our solar system. It revealed a realm of extremes, activity and mystery at the edge of the sun's reach. No other probe has visited these worlds since. Voyager's journey beyond the giants was a leap into the unknown, its next destination the stars. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission changed. It became an interstellar traveler, 
For decades, it sailed through the outer reaches of the sun's influence, its instruments still gathering data. Its new goal to study the boundary where our solar system ends and interstellar space begins, the heliopause. Scientists watched as the solar wind faded and cosmic rays increased, waiting for the moment of crossing. On November 5, 2018, after 41 years and 18 billion kilometers, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space. Its instruments detected a sharp drop in solar wind and a surge in galactic cosmic rays. Voyager 2 joined its twin, Voyager 1, as humanity's second emissary to the stars. For the first time, we had two points of data from this mysterious frontier. Their discoveries are helping us map the true edge of our solar system. Even after four decades, Voyager was still making history. The little probe that could was now a pioneer among the stars. As Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space, it sent back data that stunned scientists. It found a region of plasma, superheated, thin, and unexpected, dubbed the Wall of Fire. The plasma's temperature soared to 30,000, 50,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than models predicted. This thin, hot plasma wouldn't burn you, but its particles move at incredible speeds. The cause? A turbulent clash between the sun's magnetic field and the galaxies, creating a chaotic boundary. Magnetic reconnection may be releasing bursts of energy, heating the plasma. Voyager 2's data forced scientists to rethink the edge of our solar system. The boundary isn't smooth, it's dynamic, energetic, and complex. This discovery is why we explore. The universe always has surprises. Voyager's wall of fire changed our understanding of the cosmic frontier. The wall of fire isn't just a cosmic curiosity, it matters for life on Earth. The heliosphere shields us from dangerous galactic cosmic rays, making our solar system habitable. Voyager 2 showed that this shield is dynamic, not static, and its strength affects how much radiation reaches us. As the sun moves through the galaxy, the heliosphere's protection can change. This knowledge is vital for future explorers venturing beyond Earth's magnetic field. Understanding our heliosphere also helps us search for habitable worlds around other stars. Voyager's discoveries guide our quest to protect life and find it elsewhere. Our little probe is shaping the future of exploration. Voyager 2's story is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Built in the 1970s, it's traveled for nearly half a century and still whispers to us from interstellar space. Its endurance honors the engineers and scientists who made it possible. Voyager's images and discoveries have inspired generations and transformed distant planets into real places. The mission sparked passion and wonder, showing us our place in the cosmos. Voyager's golden record is a message of hope, a symbol of our optimism and longing to connect. As it journeys on it carries the story of a curious species reaching for the stars, that legacy will outlast us all. Voyager is proof that our desire to explore is eternal, its journey is humanity's mark on the universe.